watching The Great Wendy Way, it's time to fill you in on what's been going on on Broadway. Starting with the Tonys, they are now officially less than a week away, and we are hearing more and more information about the ceremony. Though Drood will not have a performance on June 9th, the cast of the nominated musical A Christmas Story will. It was announced this week that the original Broadway company of the musical will reunite at Radio City Music Hall on Sunday, June 9th. The musical played a limited engagement during the holiday season and is nominated for three Tonys, Best Musical, Best Book, and Best Score. The West End may soon be seizing the day as Disney producers are looking to move the musical Newsies to London. According to the UK publication The Daily Mail, Disney hopes to book either the Savoy or Piccadilly Theatre for the musical, which is set to hit London as early as spring 2014. Newsies premiered on Broadway in March 2012 and won two Tony Awards, one for Best Score and the other for Best Choreography. No word yet on casting for the West End production. And the search for Sally Bowles continues. Emma Stone will not be playing the lead role in the upcoming Cabaret Revival. It was rumored that Anne Hathaway would take on the iconic role, and then Emma Stone became the object of speculation. Neither of the two, however, will be part of next season's revival. According to the New York Times, though Stone was being considered to make her Broadway debut in Cabaret, her publicist announced that film conflicts would prevent her from starring. The show will premiere in 2014. Frenchie! Oh la la. She loves to polish. Despite a rocky start, the musical Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark celebrated its 1,000th performance on Broadway this week. You will always be in front of me, even as I disappear. Stars Reeve Carney and Rebecca Falconberry joined the cast as well as composers Bono and The Edge to celebrate the milestone after the performance on Wednesday, May 29th at the Foxwoods Theatre. The show premiered on Broadway in June of 2011 after over six months of previews and both creative and technical difficulties. Broadway is about to get miserable, though that may be a good thing in this case as Les Mis is officially moving to Broadway. The Tony Award winning musical recently adapted into a movie is set to open at the Imperial Theatre on March 23rd, 2014, with previews scheduled to begin March 1st. The show is a reimagined production inspired by the most recent U.S. national tour. The show first opened on the West End in 1985 and on Broadway in 1987. This will be the second Broadway revival for Les Mis. The short-lived musical Hands on a Hard Body will get to live a little longer with the release of a cast album. The album is set to be released on June 25th, according to star Keith Carradine in a recent interview with NPR. The show opened on Broadway on March 21st and closed April 13th, after only 28 previews and 28 regular performances at the Brooks Atkinson Theatre. The album is being released by Ghostlight Records. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Great Wendy Way. Be sure to come back on Thursday where I will fill you in on what's going on on Broadway. Thank you.